In this video, we'll have a little look at using the if statement, if function in Excel. So I'm just going to set my first um, if statement up in here. We'll start with an equals if. I'm going to use uh, three parts to the if, step, if uh, function. Logical test, value if it's true, value if it's false. So the logical test, the test that I'm going to do is if a2 equals and I'm going to see if the text is Ben. So the little check I'm doing here is if a2 equals Ben, then I put a comma and a value if true, I'm going to say good morning Ben. Then I put another comma for the third part and the value and the value if it's false. And if it's false, I'm going to say I don't know you. And then we always finish off our statement with a closed bracket. So straight away it's going to I don't know you. But if I put in Ben, it says good morning, Ben. So let's set another one up. This time I'm going to set the if statement up to check uh, a, num a numerical value in A3. So equals if and A3 equals in fact, rather than equals this time, I'm going to say if A3 is greater than 17, then I'm going to say you're an adult. In fact, let's keep it simple. You are an adult. And if it's not, I'm going to say you are not an adult yet. So this is three-part check, but this time rather than using equals, I'm seeing if it's greater than. So it says you are not an adult yet. And instead, let's say that I'm 12, still not an adult. But if I put 23, you are an adult, it changes. So final one, let's just see if we can do what's called an, a nested if now to improve on what we had a little earlier with this one. What I'm gonna do is an if statement within an if statement. So this time let's check and see if a5 is greater than 17. We'll do the age one just like before. And in fact, um, yeah, what we'll do, if, e, if A5 is greater than 17, we'll say, you're an adult. If it's not greater than 17, what I'm gonna do is another check now, and I'm going to say if A5 is less than 18, then I'm going to say, you are a child. And then finally, if it's neither of those, so if it's neither, if in other words, if it's blank or um, if it's something text, I'm going to say, please enter your age. And I just need two brackets at the end because I've got my two if statements. So it's not quite working yet. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Um, if I put 21, it says you are an adult. If I put 20, 30, ooh, I put three, you are a child. The bit that's not working for me is if it's blank, it's supposed to say you are, uh, please enter your age. So I might actually, I might actually just do a little bit of editing here. Rather than if A5 is less than 18, I'm going to say that A5 is blank. So I've used two inverted commas. And if it's blank, then I'm going to just swap those round. So I'm going to say, please enter your age. And then otherwise, it's going to say, you are a child. So there's two checks taking place here. One to see if it's blank. One to see if the age is greater than or less than 17. So now it's doing what I want, which is please enter your age. So if I say three, you're a child. If I say 19, you're an adult. 